Hey kindergarten, it is Mrs. Shivani. So it's Read Aloud Wednesday, and I am excited to read you another story from our siblings, Zach and Anne. And today, Zach and Anne are going to go visit a pond. So the characters in our story are Zach and Anne, and the setting of the story is the pond. Remember, the setting is where the story takes place, and the characters are who or what the story is about. So, as Zach and Anne visit the pond, one of them likes bugs, and one of them thinks bugs are not fun. So, listen closely, and we'll find out which one is which. When we read our story, we are also going to come across a few new words, two new words. The first new word is web. Web. Do you know what a web is? So this is a web right up here. And a web is a thin net that's spun by a spider right up here. And usually some other insects might get trapped inside. And that's how the spider eats them. And we're also going to see the word munch. Do you know what munch means? Munch means to eat or chew on something. Ch, munch, ch, like that. <gasps> Ooh, I hear a CH digraph at the end of that word, munch. You hear that too? Okay, at the very end of our story, which this is, this is a very quick book, it's only two pages long. It's the world's fastest book, I think. We'll answer some comprehension questions, and I'll tell you more about that at the end of the story, so make sure you stay tuned. You ready to read? Here we go. Bug and frog. This is the title of our story. And I see a sight word and bug and frog. Zach and Anne sit next to the pond. There they are right there. Zach says, the pond is a lot of fun. Oh, I see an exclamation point. Yes, that means I have to read with expression. I wish I were a bug. Ooh, so Zach wants to be a bug. Interesting. Why? Says Anne. Here is a question mark. Hmm? That means it's asking a question. Why? Says Anne. Bugs are no fun. Bugs zip and hum, says Zach. Ooh, they do. They do zip. Zip. And they do hum like that. Frogs hop and splash and munch on bugs. There's that word munch. I wish I were a frog, says Anne. This is what she's imagining in her head. That's so funny. I see Anne's little um, hair, her pigtails right here. And she's wishing that she were a frog so she could lick up her brother like that with her long sticky tongue. <laughs> That's a good imagination that Anne has. I like it. I will not wish I were a bug. Zach quips. Ooh, that's a good word. Zach and Anne had fun at the pond. They will tell mom and dad. <laughs> okay, so who said bugs were no fun? Hmm, let's go back up here. Anne said that. Anne didn't like bugs. She wanted to be a frog, right? And there she is imagining herself as a frog. All right, now on Google Classroom, I've uploaded for you a comprehension page. We are going to be like big first graders today. And when you answer comprehension questions, that tells us if you remember, if you comprehended what the story was about. And that's very important when you read because it's one thing to be able to read the words on the page, but it is a whole different thing to be able to remember what you read. And if you can't remember what you read, then it, there's really no purpose in reading, right? 
So we have to try and flex those comprehension muscles and um, work really hard to comprehend the stories that we read together. I know I have to work hard on it too because sometimes I read so fast that I don't remember the words that I read and I have to go back and reread them. And that's okay too. That's how you um, strengthen that ability to be able to do that. So a few questions. Here's one. Where are Zach and Anne? They're at the pond. Yeah. And what did Zach say he wished he was? Did he want to be a cat, a frog, or a bug? Hmm. I think Zach said up here, I wish I were a bug. Yes, Zach wants to be a bug. And what did Anne say she wanted to be? Yeah, Anne said she wanted to be a frog. I wish I were a frog, said Anne. And here's a question for you. Now, this one doesn't exactly come from the story. You have to infer a little bit. That means you have to look at the pictures to answer the question. So let's see. Here's my question. Can a frog munch on a bug? What do you think? Yes or no? Yeah, I think so. Because here's a picture right here. Zach is down here. Let me move myself over. Zach is right here thinking. And he's thinking that the frog is going to munch right on him if he's a bug. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, oh, oh no, I don't want to be a bug then if you're going to eat me, frog. So yeah, a frog definitely can munch on a bug. <laughs> and they like bugs a lot. That's what frogs eat. All right, guys. I can't wait to see your responses on Google Classroom. You can fill out that paper if you want to. The paper on Read Aloud is always optional. If you just want to read here with me and call it a day for skills, that is totally fine too. But I know so many of you are like to write, so I always like to provide that option if you want to do it. All right, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you next week where we'll get to read another fun Anne and Zach story. Toodaloo!